Here's the FDR readout. NTSB investigators turned to Flight 1572's flight data recorder to learn how the crew managed to recover their jet after they struck the trees. So they hit the trees and they immediately pull the flaps back to 15 and go to max thrust. The data shows that the crew quickly configured the plane for a go around. Go, go around, going around. Flaps 15, positive rate, gear up. Gear up. Then, just as they begin their go around, they lose their left engine. The aircraft um, actually ingested um, trees, the tops of the trees, into uh, the engines. Left motors failed. Followed by their right engine. Here you have a scenario where something devastated just happened. We just plowed through some trees on the top of a ridge two and a half miles away from the runway and losing capabilities on this aircraft by the second. They've got the nose way up, they're losing speed, and both their engines are gone. That's a recipe for a stall if I've ever seen one. All of a sudden, they were starting to lose airspeed. They were in a nose high attitude, and that's the worst time that can happen. Airspeed is what makes the airplane fly. If there isn't enough air moving over the wings, the wings stop flying. And that is what's referred to as a stall. There's a runway straight ahead. Fortunately, the first officer saw the runway. They had to get the airplane on the ground in a hurry uh, because they would not be able to keep on flying with the engine power they had. OK, tell him we're going down. Tell him emergency. So now he's got to reconfigure the aircraft again. And remember, this is all happening in seconds. He's got to focus on trying to save whatever altitude and airspeed he has left to make it across the fence into the runway environment. This is a critical stage of flight now because he doesn't have power. All he can do is trade altitude for airspeed. Now, we know their flaps were all the way down at 40. Flaps 40, all the way down. They're all the way down. He's got to generate something else that's going to get him across the fence, and that's when he drops 40 degrees flaps. The drag from the flaps slows them down, but for the first few seconds, it balloons them up. 40 degrees of flaps change the curve of the wing, which increases the lift of the wing, um, and gives him that, that extra little bounce um, to get a little bit further. If he had not have done that, or if he would have delayed it a little bit, uh, the accident could have been totally catastrophic. You got it, dude. You're going to make it. They glide down to the runway. Unfortunately, they didn't have quite enough uh, airspeed and altitude, so they landed uh, early, kind of scooted and flopped onto the pavement of the runway. They made mistakes going into the tree strike, if you will, and yet did a brilliant job landing the aircraft. That's an incredible show of airmanship. <laughs>